What's up, what's up everyone, Senefan23 here, and today I am giving you a video of what I think could be possible ideas for the uh, the up and coming F1 2014 game. So today what I've done for you is a quick mock up of uh, several ideas I think that could be uh, included in the new game. So we're going to start off with this, it's the uh, one, one of the most important parts of the game, it's the, uh, the graphics, because all, as some of us may know, sometimes the graphics can make or break a game. Uh, so today, uh, what I've done is is this, and it's a quick talk through. In the top uh, right, where you've got your just your normal lap info, you like your lap counters and everything. Uh, uh, and I think a feature that could be added is like the best lap of the race. So like, um, and also if you want, if it's uh, your name, it'll, it'll be shown in purple. However, if it's someone else. Uh, it will be uh, shown with their car number or something. So if it was like Lewis Hamilton, it'd be car number 44, uh, best and all that. And below that, you've got your, your last lap, which uh, is important in the F1 game, and your current lap. So we can have that just added into the game as well. In your top left, you've got uh, just your normal uh, overall classification in the race. So like uh, your name and uh, your competitors' cars, uh, your... Uh, your car number, which I'll get onto later on in the video. Uh, circuit map, I reckon that can just be carried over from uh, F1 2013 because you just want a simple, basic, easy to understand circuit map. Um, you've also got the uh, the uh, graphics in the bottom right. Now you've we, now we, you've done away with the curves bar. You don't need that anymore. Not for this year because. The curve system this year is now automated. However, you will have your DRS and your speedo, your rev counter, and your gear indicator. But something I think that could be added to the game would be a fuel indicator because, as you know, for 2014 this year, fuel usage is a very, very big part. So, so this I reckon could be uh, a way forward for this game. For this, uh, I think we should look back to the past, to uh, the F1 2010 game, because um, there are some aspects of it which I found really, really interesting. For example, with the interview, it makes you feel like you're a proper F1 driver, as well as the fact that the main menu itself was based in a paddock. So, um, so like you'll be you'll basically stepping into the shoes of an F1 driver, and I think Codemasters should bring this back for the F1 2014 game, because I think that overall it would just give a whole better experience to the player. For those of you who have played F1 2013 before. And you've had a go on career mode. Oh dear. The young driver's test. The most, I think the most annoying part of this game. As it is so long. It took me, when I, when, when I first got F1 2013. It took me about half an hour to complete it. Not because that, not because at this time I got myself a new computer and I was still learning how to use the function keys, but the fact that it's so long and there's so many tests to do mean that they're trying to bore us before we even get the game or something. What I propose to, that Codemasters should do about this is that take away like day one or make day one shorter and take away day two altogether and instead put us in a few practice sessions from the previous year like a few other drivers did uh, in the 2013 season. And the way which you can try and determine yourself a drive is that if you like get into uh, a team like uh, Caterham in the 2013 season and you do a few times, uh, like your team will set you a, a target time, like for example around Silverstone 143.274. If you beat that uh, within a certain number of laps, uh, when you come to do the young driver's test, some teams will already be looking at you for a potential drive. Now, I think we should, and I, I reckon they should do that instead of having such a long driver's test because many, because I've heard many people complain about this, 
saying that they should just scrap the Young Drivers test altogether. And career mode, um, hmm. It can get annoying because on F1 2013, you have to do five seasons of career mode. Now, yeah, a bit long. Um, but once again, we need, I think we should look into the past for this. And once again, I think we should turn back to F1 2010 because in when you had that interview before, at the start of your career mode, you were given a choice to compete in how many seasons and you could choose between uh, 3, 5 and 7. And I think they should bring that back for the F1 2014 game because uh, the career mode can become quite uh, boring after a fashion because you have to do the five seasons and you can't and there's no way out of that and yet uh, our solution for this would be that uh, at the end of each season instead of just having a button that says continue to season two, season three, season four and season five they should have a function in which would you like to retire from F1 if so this will end your career mode and so I think you should have that because um, because some people have also been complaining how career mode uh, it just becomes too dull to really complete anymore. Because once you're world champion, you can just do that again. Um, and I know the difficulty can increase as well with time. But uh, I do want to have a function that says you can end your career mode if you'd like to. It's not to say that I don't like doing the career mode. I do. But they should... But they should have the option to retire if you, and the option to uh, select how many seasons you want to compete in. So, uh, so they should really add this on to the F1 2014 game as well. And yeah, because I think that would just be a, a, a welcome comeback and I think would make many uh, F1 Codemaster gamers very happy. Possibly, possibly. Um, in my eyes, cars made before 1995 aren't really modern, and I can put those in as classic. However, in the F1 2013 game, they put a Ferra they put the 1999 Ferrari and Williams cars in. Now, I can't really call that classic because they were basically made well, damn near at the start of the 21st century. Um, but what car? But there are a few cars I would like to add in it. Um, so, for example, uh, this car, the McLaren uh, M23, uh, driven by James Hunt in 1976, which I would love in this game. Um, if you don't know, you could get a 1970s car on the game. However, you need to have an account on RaceNet to do that, and even so, it would be Nicky Lauda's 312T2. But I think that Codemasters should have these sort of cars in the game. So like 1970, you have the M23, you have the 312T2, you have the Pirrell 6 wheeler, the P45 I believe it was called. And um, you should have those cars in because I've watched Rush and I just want to recreate James Hunt and Nicky Lauda's battle. I just want to do that. I mean, what petrol head wouldn't? Is my is my question to that? So, Codemasters put 70s DLC in. Everyone, I, I reckon everyone would love that. So, before I go, I just wanted to leave you with a few more ideas which I would have for the F1 2014 game, like Design Your Own Hellmeter and more classic tracks. So, I've been Sender Fan 23. Goodbye. <laughs>